All right, Dusty, there's rumours that Lubo Milicevic is being scouted by the Jets and might be coming back to the club. What can you tell us? Yeah, it's uh, news to me. Um, uh, look, Lubo's obviously spent some time here and uh, he, he did quite, quite well. He's a very, very popular with the supporters as well. Um, everyone knows um, the fact that he's, he's obviously had uh, different types of issues, but um, that's, that's the first I've heard of, heard of that. No interest if he was free? Oh, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult one. Um, again, you'd have to really find out how he is physically and, and where, he's, where he's at uh, as far as um, his, his, his mental place, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, if he's, he's really feeling that he wants to come back or, or, or exactly where he, where he sits from the perspective of what he wants to do with his football. But, you know, from my point of view, I think Lubo is, a, you know, he's one of the, the best talents that Australia's produced in, in many, many years as a central defender. And it's a, it's a real tragedy from my point of view that he hasn't played more senior football, especially with the national team, because, you know, we've all seen how wonderful a player he is. If he's not on the radar, then I guess, it, have you got any other central defenders in mind at this stage? Yeah, we have. Uh, there's a number of players that we've, um, we've been looking at. So I've got a meeting today um, with, uh, with, with Robbie and Troy, and, and part of that meeting will be to discuss uh, that position. But, um, you know, again, with uh, the fact that we don't want to shoot ourselves in, in the foot, uh, we try and keep that reasonably confidential till um, it becomes more concrete. Uh, all right, Emil, back today. How does he look? <coughs> yeah, fine. Uh, again, you know, he's um, done quite a bit of strengthening work, and he's, he's quite strong. The conditioning is a different, different aspect, and uh, we have to ensure that uh, we take it appropriate with him from his from his uh, conditioning point of view. And today, he joined in the warm up and, and did the first part of the session, and then you know he'll do some more aerobic type conditioning first before we do anything more ballistic with him. So. Um, great to have him here so early in the pre-season. Uh, last year, as you know, he only got here um, a week or ten days prior to the start of the game, uh, start of the first game. So, from that point of view, it's uh, it's a real bonus. So you feel like that'll uh, allow you to sort of hit the ground running with a formation that sort of assists his playing style? No, oh, look, I think it's it's the fact that he's just going to be here um, with so much time prior to the first game and acclimatising to. Uh, you know, uh, to the to the, uh, the football environment here, and, and and obviously from the point of view that he also knows what to expect. You know, last year he didn't know what to expect. Uh, this year he does. Uh, he knows, you know, about the travel. He knows about, you know, the weather. He knows about um, the different teams that, that obviously that we play against. So from from his point of view, he'll be a lot more knowledgeable as um, as, as we are as well. Can you see him making a big impact because of that. Yeah, look, I, I think so. Uh, I think, you know, for sure he'll, uh, he'll, he'll I think he'll, he'll definitely make more of an impact. And I think a number of those uh, marquees will, you know, with, with Ono and Del Piero as well. So, you know, looks like it's going to be even better A-League than it was last year. Will your philosophy change this year um, compared to last year? As far as the game is concerned, mate, from the perspective of how we want to play, um, from a from a positional point of view, uh, maybe from a from a shape point of view, but um, from a from a, uh, a philosophy point of view, you know.